and welcome back to another episode of JP and Julia. We gotta change that. <sighs> another vacation. We're visiting my brother. We're going to Seattle because that's where he's stationed in the military. And I was like, you know what? Why don't you get a few days off here or there and I'll come out with the family. So we did. Yeah, we're traveling again, folks. We're so backed up on edits that this was filmed in July before like Delta went crazy. And this might be uploaded after Delta's already gone. I don't even know. We filmed in July. I'm voicing over in August. And then this is probably gonna be seen to you in September or something. I don't know. I can't stick to a schedule anymore. But either way, we made it to Seattle, Washington, home of Jeremy Johns, favorite YouTuber. Tried to meet up with him. It's probably better we didn't meet because I'm, I'm like a super fan. You probably creeped, you probably creeped out. He was probably creeped out, but moving along. We didn't go there for Jeremy Johns. No, we went there for Julia's family. So where do we begin? Let's begin with saying bye to Munchie. Bye, Monkey. We'll see you after Seattle. You're gonna stay here. Munchie, you're in the video and you're with me in real life. Come here. I love you, show the camera your big poopy days. This is me saying goodbye to my baby. It looks like I really didn't want to leave her. And then we just left. We went to the airport and we go to the rewards lounge, Delta Lounge, and have an impeccable breakfast. JP is a travel pro. I introduced Julia to the best thing ever, the Delta Lounge MCO, Orlando Airport. And that's where we started our journey with mimosas and Bloody Marys because yeah, that's what you do when it's complimentary. But yeah, this lounge is amazing. I mean, look at my food here. Beautiful. Guys, sign up for the uh, Platinum Delta Sky Miles War Cards, the purple one, and use my referral code. I'm full, I'm happy, I'm ready for my plane ride. I'm ready to sleep a few hours, end up in Seattle. And we actually met my brother Alex, my twin, in the airport, and we linked up. That was cool. We decided to get some food with our rewards points. Beautiful airport. I, I, I wanna start doing airport reviews because I think they're necessary. I'll tell you right now, priority pass. You get priority pass through the Chase Sapphire Reserve Card for free. That gives you access to so many perks at airports. This restaurant gives me, I think it was like $60 credit to order anything I want on the menu there. That's incredible. Not sponsored by points or rewards programs, but we love a deal. We got the chicken wings, and those chicken wings look really good. I remember these being okay. You know, actually all the food was here was, was okay. First meal in Seattle. Cheers. Ribs, the ribs were okay. These were like messy, sticky. I was like, I need to take a shower. Alex did get salmon fish and chips, which was interesting, but more along the lines of what Seattle carries. But I don't think salmon needs to be battered and deep fried. We got ourselves a, a diggity dog, a brisket sandwich. We probably got way too much. Like honestly, I don't know why we ordered that much. Thank you Priority Pass. You, you gave me a mediocre meal for free. I heard the Seattle dog is something to get, but I don't think this is that. Oh, it's too hot. Moving on, get in the car from Airbnb. There's a little peace sign for my face and a little tongue sticking out. That doesn't happen often. And then we get on a highway and then we're in a tunnel. Lots of signs and more roads until we see a skyline. Seattle is a very eclectic, modern architectural feel. I thought it was really interesting, the transportation of Seattle. Like they've got the buses going by, but they have them on these like poles hanging from wires. So the first place we go to is this Charlotte restaurant and lounge. It's actually in this ginormous building on the high floor. So it's, it's kind of hidden, you know, but it had really good reviews. It's slightly on the expensive side. I would say very expensive. And we actually had to dress up for it. I will say where we sat was very comfortable though. The first thing I wanted to get was oysters because that's something that you gotta get. It's like right there by the ocean. The best drink to have with oysters is champagne and it's our first drink. And the oysters came out and they're looking beautiful. And I'm not a big oyster fan, uh, but I gotta tell you, these things were dressed perfectly for me to consume the whole thing without having a single problem with them. We were like, please, why is this bread so good? I don't wanna get full on it. We've got other food to try. Then we had this incredible pasta dish for an appetizer. And then we went in for a seafood dish and the filet, which was topped with some type of like pesto thing that was just to die for. And honestly, I didn't order that, Alex. Thank you for letting me take a bite. I think Julia got the salmon and I got like a butter poached halibut, really fancy. And then we took a little break and JP took a, like a break in the bathroom and he comes back, he's like, you needed to see this bathroom. It was so cool. This bathroom is crazy. 
And then dessert. They, they upselled us. They got us. The dessert here was decadent and delicious. Just look at that. We were on the way out and the manager came up and was like, no, you should see the rest of this venue. It's really cool. And she showed us this one special like events area where people have gotten married before. I didn't know that we were eating on top of a building with a chapel. That's amazing. Already, I'm wowed by Seattle and it's day one. We, we had such a wide variety. We got barbecue, we had super fancy, and now we found like street tacos. Um, yes, please. So luckily we just kind of stumbled upon this, this food truck. It was like one in the morning at that point. And I'm like, okay, that's very convenient. Get some tacos. All right guys, we're at Black Diamond Bakery. Special recommendation. The next morning we start off again, more food and we have to go to this bakery, this Black Diamond Bakery that was recommended to us. They had a whole breakfast diner. I really wanted to get the breakfast there, but no, we just kind of went in and, and got a lot of the homemade breads and pastries that they make there. And I, I gotta tell you, it was absolutely incredible. Mm, yeah. If you're in Seattle and you're in that area, hit that place up. That was a fun little visit. It was very kitschy in there. Like all of the cabinetry was oversized. So I got to look like really small next to a big table. That place looked like it had the best diner in the freaking world. But we didn't have time because we had to get to the mountain early enough. That way we could see it. We had to see the beauty of the sunrise. But yeah, we uh, basically just wanted to do some sightseeing. We went up all the way to the top of Mount Rainier and look at, we could see the ice caps on the mountain. Talk about like good greenery. Like that's where it's at, like right all over Seattle's face. Photo shoot, mountains, more mountains, photo shoot. Here's a funny scene of Jacob trying to get out of the hammock. When did I become like seven year old Jake again getting bullied by my siblings? Good times people. It's another day and we decided we're gonna hit up Chinatown. And because Chinatown is so massive and amazing, we're gonna have a video dedicated to all the food we ate there. I'll tell you right now, the first spot we hit up uh, were basically the, the Korean corn dogs. And I'm like, Jules, we gotta get these. So that was our first stop in Chinatown. They did not disappoint. Point. Oh, they're gonna get a picture in the street. Oh, please don't get hit by a car. Did you get the shot for Instagram? I'm also a photographer. You got it. Gonna Book me at shop.healthyjunkfood.com. All right, JP, we're gonna eat. We head out of Iron Steak and we head up the street to this little cute area with lots of different restaurants. And we checked out the Ballard, which is a really cool whiskey bourbon style restaurant. They've got a huge selection of it. And we tried a few and actually ran into some friends who were eating at the restaurant there. And oh my God, the food looked amazing. Like they got a tomahawk steak. So that was a day. It was time to leave. We got our bourbon. We got everything that we needed, but it was time to get out of there. Time to get out of downtown and go for a ride. And where'd we go as the sun went down? We're going to Dick's to get some wieners. Lexi, where are we going? We're gonna eat some Dick's. <laughs> we're gonna shake it up at Dick's. This is still the same day at Chinatown, so we're done with Chinatown now, but we're still hungry. It's like late night food. Again, we can have as many appetizers as we want. You just gotta space it out. And we heard that Dick's Drive-In is the spot to go, especially for that late night grub. And I was super excited to do this because I'm like, oh my gosh, this place kind of reminds me of Seattle's In-N-Out or something. I don't even know. We get there right at the perfect time, right as the sun's setting. It's like a Denny's, it's like a drive-in, it's like a McDonald's. Back in the day, you order at the freaking window. You can pretty much see everybody cooking behind the line. 100% that nostalgic feel. Dick's hamburgers, instant service. Dick's deluxe, quarter pound, 100% beef. Let's check this burger out. Yeah, oh, greasy and that foil. Double patty, got had to do Double patty. I'm eating a sandwich at a place called Dick. This is exactly what you need at the end of the night. Nobody's being a dick to me here. Tastes like beef. <laughs> Tastes like beef. These fries are really good. I want milkshakes. Wow. Obviously hand spun. The tartar sauce alone is incredible. Look at that. This is quality. Dude, 10 out of 10. I get why they're known for their tartar sauce because it doesn't taste like Heinz. Sometimes you just need a really good greasy burger. So I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of Dick's. Julia likes Dick's too, so that's good. I mean that in the most serious way possible. That's a pretty good burger, actually. Yeah, no, you did a good I'm job impressed. The day's not over, though. It's just the last moment that it will be filmed until tomorrow. We're going for a hike. We're going to show you some footage of that. You're coming with us. We're going to go do more things in Seattle tomorrow. See you later. Boom.